it's Mary Jo and Chloe. <laughs> okay, I asked you guys which outfit, and it won by one. The, it's bat. the bat. And I actually um also participated in that one because I thought he would look adorable in the bat. So, so I also helped. I will one. try this one another time. But I think this one's going to actually fit better because it actually looks like it's smaller. Oh, um, if you guys hear that really weird noise, it's coming from my poppet. Because I'm fidgeting. So, so um, I don't know why. I'm, I'm nervous right now. I don't know why. And also, too, while I'm changing him, I'm going to do the... Uh, Tag. Oh. oh, we slipped. Here, let's put it like this so you can see him. Doing the uh, tag from the Country Cottage. Oh, but she's amazing. Um, get to know you. It's uh, 10 questions. I will actually be answering some questions, but most of them are for her. So, well, you'll hear me talking like about the ones that like I know. But. Okay, the first one is children and grandchildren. Um, I have three boys. <laughs> and one granddaughter. <laughs> I knew it was coming out like this, just like so. Yeah, my oldest one is 36, 35, and my yeah, youngest one is 26, something. which I just got him back. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, him and his it's girlfriend wonderful. moved back, so we had to move stuff around again. So now we're rearranging our... Nursery. So nursery again. I just haven't posted so. anything with my dolls because I want to do, once I finish my re my nursery, I want to do, once they're all in their bed and every, like, in their spot, I'm going to do a nursery tour if I feel comfortable doing that so that you guys will get to see my dolls and some of my new ones that I've gotten since I haven't filmed the video with them yet. So, yeah. Well, we would have been all right if we would have kept it that was the first time, but yeah, with that I energy. thought she was having an allergic reaction with the carpeting that was in there, so we switched rooms, Yeah. and then we turned around and switched rooms back when we found out she wasn't allergic to it. Yeah, because originally this room was my, where my, all my toys and stuff were, well, and my nursery was on the hardwood floor, so I could do all the stuff on the floor. That was after we had switched. Yeah, because originally the one that she thought I was allergic to the carpet was just actually one of the dolls I had. Because of the hair or something like that. I think that was what it was. Or the chair that um, I had in there. Um, it said Charlie on it, which was my, t my child doll I used to have. But I got rid of her because I had no use for her. Okay. Number two, we can both answer. What is it? I believe it's their favorite color. Oh, mine's easy. Well, I have two answers to that one. But there's two different col like shades of it. Jeremy, you go first. Mine's complicated. Well, I like dark colors. Yeah, well, most of But it's really mostly white. purple. Uh, mine's yellow or gold. I don't know why. They're both the same colors, just one's... I don't know. Yeah. Mine's, mine's technically black because I think black goes with everything. It does. And a lot of people say it's not a color, but it actually is. But. Because it's a color of a crayon, so it's a color. But mostly it's, I've been technically. A lot of people say it's purple. Oh my there god. Go. He's so cute. He's cute. I'm just sitting here playing with my pocket. Maybe for Halloween he can wear the other one. Yeah. Um. Number three is hobbies. Oh, hmm. I, I have multiple. Do I only have to share yeah. one? I, no. I'm just going to share two of them. Because this list goes on forever. Just do what you most, what you mainly do. Yeah, that's... Or what you, you know... I have like three that I mainly do. One's just kind of like a like, but I still consider it a hobby. Jeremy, go first. Well, you've already started, so... So, my, one of my hobbies is obviously Reborns, but I also have horseback riding. And my friend teaches me how to do really complicated gymnastics. So, you know which friend this is. Mm -hmm. So, those are the three that I mainly do. And then you do your rocks. And I do my rocks, which is a newer hobby. So, for my birthday last month, 
I got a rock tumbler because me and my dad went up to the Upper Peninsula for a couple days. And on the way up, well, we had went for a day trip to uh, Mackinac Island, the Mackinac City. And we stopped at Petoskey and we found some Petoskey stones and some other rocks I picked up that I thought were cool. So we picked up some throughout the trip, uh, both trips. And so we put them in my rock tumbler I got and it was like my first time doing it. So we kind of were finding what works best with certain rocks. Um, and yeah, so it's like one of my newer hobbies that I'm starting to get into. Um, it's very annoying because it's in my room and it's when you first do like the first day is so loud you can hear it from the living room <laughs> and my room is down the hallway to the right and it's really loud <laughs> like i'll be sitting in the living room like what is that noise oh wait it's my rock tumbler <laughs> so anyways okay um my hobbies are um before i got into reborn was mostly genealogy genealogy um, yeah genealogy Genealogy. <laughs> She's good. I even remember. I have so a speech impairment, so a lot of times the words don't come out. My right. parents get mad at me because they'll start talking like her. Like you won't get mad; they'll just think it's hilarious because I'm around her so much. Like around her once during the week, and then throughout the week I'll be around her, and then I'm I'm around her two days straight, <laughs> and then I start talking like her for like a week. It's amazing because I sound like my grandma. But I do that in. Uh... I don't, um, in the past, I used to do a lot of painting, like, with ceramics and stuff like that in Canvas painting, yeah, so I'm starting your, to get back into that. You're doing diamond, painting by diamonds. Yeah, I, have to I, started, my, I had started doing that. I gotta I finish had, yeah, my elephant. I container, had containers I had. Someone bumped into it, and they all fell, and I lost one through four, like, half of it. Where? Then, at the farm. Oh, no. It fell, and it's all over the floor. I'm like, no. Well, like, likely they re you can replace that now, though. I at Hobby mine Lobby. can't. Yeah, at Hobby Lobby, they got they get got it where you can buy those certain colors. They don't have my one I'm doing. They don't have it. I've already looked online and no, 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 store. At, no, in the store you can I buy something already, similar. Uh, we'll find it. Cause like it'll I even be, told my mom, close. she's like, I'll I'll order it again, and then I'll just give you the ones, and they can restock on yours. I'm like, okay. Yeah, could do that too. Cause me and my mom um do that a lot together that's how her and i just kind of do stuff together but i don't know i i dab in a little of, of other stuff she I, I also do everything. a lot of i think she started her her dad and hers got into the rocks because i've always collected rocks yeah so you have like two containers of rocks. and her dad kind of like got that from me so he's gotten her interested into it's kind of like a family that, thing so. like it goes down from one generation to the next <laughs> Okay, the next one is where we live. I live in a suburb. It's not really like it's a it's well, a big town. It's a here, it's not a city. It's a suburb. But I live in two places. I live here on the weekends, and I live at home with my my parents. Well, one parent at the moment, and my grandparents. But um, when I'm here, I'm technically in like where she's at, and then um, when I'm back home, where I go to school. I basically live in a little town. You live out in the country. Country, but I'm very close to a town, like not even like a mile away. Yeah, about from 20 minutes. Town. Okay. Our favorite food. Oh, my nice easy. Chinese. Well, specifically from Chinese, I like Chinese too. The teriyaki chicken on a stick. It's amazing. I like all And then I vegetables. eat my cantaloupe. So once I eat my chicken off the, off the stick, I take the stick and stab it into my cantaloupe and then eat it. I like those. It's amazing. What is it called? The wontons or whatever? The the ones with the cream cheese in it? Oh, those? I'm not a big fan of those, actually. Those, those make It's like the texture of the cream. I am a texture. Like, if a texture is <laughs> really bad, I will literally not swallow it. My dad had me try one of his pies. I almost threw up all over my mac and cheese. I guess you wouldn't eat the, uh, <laughs> those squids. Mochi. Oh, the squids. Yeah, no. Okay, what's your favorite um, dessert? Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> and me and my dad are going to make it soon. But it's going to be four tiered instead of know. one tiered. <laughs> Mine is a cross between, like, I like the Michigan mud. Michigan potholes? Potholes, yeah. 
Yeah, or the chocolate. ice cream is pretty yeah, good. That one, or that's like my um, favorite ice cream. But then I love that pie your mom's. Oh, so my mom for Christmas one year and like two years straight, she made this Oreo, like I think it was like cream cheese pie with the Oreo crust. It was amazing. Um, it's really good. It's really good. My mom's great at that when she follows a recipe. Me and my <laughs> dad like making cakes together. Uh, one time for my birthday, since I found my new favorite type of cake, it's besides German chocolate, but, um, <laughs> me and my grip bush are the favorites, but, um, my dad made an Oreo cake and then he crumbles up extra Oreo, like the cookie part, not the cream part, and then he just sprinkles it all over. So him and I are going to take blue frosting and then do like the, the Oreo, like the cookie, and then crumple it all over a four tier Oreo cake, chocolate Oreo cake and vanilla Oreo cake. Dad be loves amazing. He does. I think that's where I get my chocolate kicked from. <laughs> and I thought I like chocolate. <laughs> oh, my dad loves chocolate. <laughs> okay, seven. Let me go first because yours is going to be longer Wait, than mine. Wait, what is it? Pets. Oh, yeah. Let me go first. I have two I places have I have pets. Three up. three dogs. <laughs> I have a German Shepherd um, Mix. Wolf Hybrid. And he's almost 15, which he's old man. sadly... We've been debating about um, having to be putting him down soon because he's having a really hard time. He's He looks like he's um, blind in both eyes, but, but he can um, see out of one. Ow! The next one is... <laughs> Sorry Stop about that. pinching me. You're not a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Our next one, next one I have is she's really big. She's a Wattweiler. Oh my Weiler. gosh, yes. She's half Wattweiler and Chocolate, chocolate Lab. lab. Um, she, she weighs like more than I do, yeah, and that's she, concerning. She looks like a chocolate lab, but she's built like a rock I only, I only weigh 70-something, and, and she weighs like 90. The next one I have is Buddy, and he's... He's my dog. Yeah, well, technically he's mine by law. By law, but he's still my but child. he's... He's both our he's dogs. He's Jack Russell, Blue Pit, Healer, and Pitbull. Blue Healer Mix. But he's, he's a my character. <laughs> so when I walk in the door, he goes like this. And he's just... He'll speed through the house like he's a speed demon. I, like, he's I, hilarious. I always used to say he acts like a ferret. And the reason he why does. I say that is that if his head will fit through it, <laughs> his body will fit will through it. He will get his whole body through. He's funny. Yeah, he's fit through the fence. And he's walked all the way to the church, which is, like, that way. And it's, like, a house and a store away from us. Um, And he crossed the road, and he's about, like, from the floor, he's, like, this far up, I'd say. He's a tiny dog. Yeah, and we have, he's uh, he's not really that tiny. He's not tiny. He's not like a toy dog. It's just. He's like 40 pounds. He's like 40 pounds, but he's like a small dog. Not like one of the medium, medium dogs. He's a small dog. He's amazing. Um, <laughs> and then we <laughs> have four cats. Two of them are actually my youngest sons, but they originally were. Uh, there's. They, they were his, but. They took them before. Um. Buzz is the oldest. Yep, he's an old man. When yep. he's high on catnip, you he's don't want to mess with him. He's 18 years old. He's a good cat. And he is a long-haired, consider a flame point Siamese. He's so pretty. And then we, then there's, um, and then Cat Stevens, cat is, Stevens. is the other cat. So, can I tell him about, like, the mistake between him and his sister? Well, let me finish. Okay. And then Lynx is his sister. Both of them are like, I guess you we would call them like a, a catechal tabby. Yeah, they have a heart on their buttholes. <laughs> they then, literally like a heart like this, like just a tiny yeah, heart really on funny. their butthole. <laughs> it's amazing. And then um, the other one that I have is um, River. His River, River is my cat. And he's crossed between a mancoon. He, he was a rescue. And a, and we, a, Ruskin, a Russian blue. We rescued him. Um, and we also got Cat Stevens and Lynx. From a rescue center or shelter or whatever. That's where me and Brock got them. Yeah. And they said Cat Stevens was a girl and Lynx was a boy. Which I knew right off they weren't. I knew they were they just the opposite. They swapped genders. But Lynx is the female. Cat Stevens is the male. And we're like... And Lynx was so scared when we got her. She clung to the lady who had brought her out. And I think I, I held her while you were doing some other stuff and she clung to me she clung to me because she was scared i'm just like this is gonna hurt if she digs her nails into my skin 
I don't like yeah. getting my nails did. Like, but when I look at it, like, I go, was she the run of the litter? Because she's, like, she's the, really small. And she was, like, really small. She's a and I can't remember if she said she was she's or not, but I'm like. I think she is the run. But she's very small. I looked at her and I go, you sure she's the girl? Because, and I think they had named her lot, um, Onyx. Yeah. I think that's what yeah, they, it was they said it was Onyx. They said, they said no, she's a boy. And no. I'm like, but she's then not. when I got them home and everything and I looked at them both close, I'm like, well, One has when I go to their vet, they get, sp you know, spayed, spayed and, neutered. and neutered. I said, they'll let me know for sure. But I told my son, <laughs> I said, I'm pretty <laughs> sure <laughs> you got the male and I got the female. Did he want a female? Yeah. Well, but, I mean, Buzz. But it was Buzz funny was... because I can't remember what they <laughs> named, named because he actually had a girl <laughs> named oh what was it can um, you remember i think it was like phoenix or something no, i don't, I don't think it was phoenix i'm just trying to think of it because i don't remember i think it was honest. jasmine it was jasmine they named it was jasmine. jasmine and so when he came home from the he goes well i had this is gonna be a re, long video. he said i had to rename jasmine so i named it cat stevens, Kat stevens. So. she's wearing my scrunchie today so now you can talk about your Okay, pets. so at the farm where I live, because I have 20-something horses, I think like 23, my horse, so I have three, four horses. I have Lexi Hondo, who's my newest horse I got, because he's Lexi's baby. And then I have Chewy and Jellybean, so I have four. But those are your miniatures. Those are, Chewy and Jellybean are brother and sister. They're my minis, and then Lexi and Hondo are my full-grown horses. Um, and then I had, I used to have two bunnies, but sadly they passed away, uh, two days away from, apart from each other, uh, cause they both got sick from the same, uh, disease and we don't know what. And then we have c cats. We have three kittens that were born this year. We have four kittens that are almost a year old. And then we have three adult cats. But what's so special about your kittens? Um, we have polydactyls. <laughs> and they so have actually two Two they, so we have two three boy polydactyls, the two kittens, and then the almost year old one, and then we have a girl that's a polydactyl. And the, and a couple of them actually look like Michigan. They <laughs> so my mom's cat looks like he has the mitten just with an extra little divot right here. It's amazing. Um, and then we have two dogs, Boogie and Cowgirl. Cowgirl is a border collie, and Boogie's a beagle mix. I don't know how I remember that, but mom told me she that. Don't look like a beagle, she doesn't look like a beagle. She doesn't look like a beagle. She's like a medium sized dog. And she, but was, she doesn't look like a beagle. What's so she, neat about Boogie, though? <laughs> she's awesome. She, she also is, has only, she, on one paw, she only has like three toes. But so, she's she get what, surgery. 14 years old? No. I thought she was 13. She's 13. She's okay, she's 13 years old. Last year she was 12. But this dog she's has amazing. the softest fur. It's in the world. puppy fur. It's like puppy. So when you first get your dog, I don't, it's soft fur. That's what her fur is. Basically, I just don't, a puppy no, fur. They don't it's honest, awesome. They don't know how she kept her puppy fur, but it's, she has she the softest paw. And the funny oh. thing is, we've lost her in the middle. You know how we get snow where I live? We get snow. And she'll roll in the snow, and you cannot find her. She's a all-white dog with brown spots. So when those brown yeah, spots are covered, tan. it's tan. But... When those spots are covered, she looks like this little white dog, and it's really crazy because she goes from okay. this dog to the next. What's your favorite season? Oh, I don't mind. Uh, fall isn't August like fall or summer? It's like a mixture. August is I, more summer because I compete it, during August. I think it depends what time it's August. Mine's like the second week of August because I compete for like a whole week. I'm at a fair nonstop, just doing random stuff. I think that would and be six a.m. every day. It would still be considered summer. It's, still, it's between fall and summer. Mine's summer because I like to go camping. I mean, I don't mind going camping. It's just as long like I know where we go camping. It's just I don't I don't like being away from home that much because I and get, I think yours would be summer because that's yeah. when you compete. Um, this year I have a funny story about one time during the summer, and I was up camping in a cabin. Well, not really. It was camping, but we were in a cabin and with my cousin. And my mom's like, you should go with your dad to go get some OJ. Um, and it was right when I was, it was like the first, like we were just going to the cabin and back home. Like that's the only other place I went besides staying home. When was this? 
uh, during COVID. Oh. During the shutdown. And I got so anxious because this was like right when we were like a lot, like my parents were letting me go in stores like r vaguely throughout like every so once in a while. And because normally they'd have me stay in the car and one of them stay with me. And I freaked out. I had a, literally a meltdown because I didn't want to leave. I was super like nervous because COVID gave me bad anxiety. Well, that's because you weren't allowed to go no, anywhere. No, and I was so used to not leaving one of their sides. Like, staying in one specific spot is like my routine. And yeah, so that that's a long wasn't, year. That was a very long year. Um. Okay, number nine, decor style. Hmm. Hoarder. <laughs> Um, mine, no. in my room at home, it's kind of just a random, like, my walls are pink and I don't like it, but it's, like, a nice pink. It's not, like, in-your-face pink. That's how I describe things. In-your-face color or not your in your face It's, like, a pastel pink, but it's also, like, a wood, like, a country-ish kind of thing. My house feels like you're in the middle mm. of the country. When, it, when I first... But here, mine's more, like, a city-like kind of thing, like, cozy kind of thing, like, rainy day kind of thing. Yeah. My first house, it was west, it was... I western had a lot of antiques. Yeah, it was western. Then I had a lot of oh, antique like, and, and it, antiques. Antiques are fun. I had a lot of antiques and everything in my in my first house when we lived in Vicksburg. Yeah, when I used to live next door next to door. to your opa. Yeah, and um, I had a lot of. It was mostly, like I said, Western Native American, you know. Because we do have Native in our system. Native our American, systems. but then when we moved, and then we moved. Up north, then it was more. I went more of a cabin kind of feel, like a cabin, like like Joe's well, cause, cabin, yeah, well, like out I, in the middle of nowhere cabin kind of thing. Well, because our house was so much smaller, and then we kind of like had it downsized, and then then we moved back down here, and then. Your Sorry, poppy just kind of like took over and yeah, he's taking over all downstairs. <laughs> Actually, I have like my pianos downstairs, and I have a few other things that I like play with downstairs. This is kind of weird. All my friends kind of some of my p friends that like are really confused on why I still play with Barbies, but um, like my Barbie house is down there. Like I have stuff that I don't fit in my room are in there. What are you doing? Oh, and. Yeah, he's doodling. but he took over the whole base, like, downstairs. So, we kind of just have our stuff up here, and then, yeah, upstairs is basically just us. So, I like it. Well, you know, like, I collect Reborn stuff like that. My husband collects a lot of stuff, too. <laughs> he's, and... He said some Reborns were cute, like clowns. Yeah, he, he lo likes clowns. He likes clowns. I so have a he collects of... anything that's clowns. I hate clowns. But... I don't like clowns. I agree with my uncle because me and my uncle are both scared of clowns. <laughs> like we're willing to punch a clown if we need to. Like, <laughs> but he clicks. But first, first we had Beanie Babies, but then he first, didn't want Beanie Babies. And first then, he was then obsessed he, with Beanie Babies. Then he went then to he, clowns and he spent a clown for a while. But then he collect those back. And I'm like, well, why did we get rid of them for you to collect them back again? That didn't make any sense. I mean, he's given me a few of them that like were like my bear that he gave me for my birthday that one year. Yeah. And I have that one up on my shelf. But remember, we had yeah. I remember the two trash bags we had full of them, and we I donated still have most them. Of my baby babies, I think. And then he turned around and Bring yeah, but the on. ones that Brock had, and then it's like, why did we donate all those? If we're just gonna buy to them back, buy them. it just didn't make any sense to me. But he, he's I don't, now on a kick of His clowns. mom gave him a lot of stuff he before did. she passed, and so then when she passed, he accumulated. Incum more stuff so. more stuff because they were his mom's and it was it's still very hard for our family because we lost her um but i still like get stuff from her every day so our, we all do. our decor st style is it's like, kind of a i mix would say everything. it's a free market <laughs> like it could be a flea market <laughs> like imagine like goodwill but reborn style. i mean i've been wanting to have a certain style but I I, it's not, just I can't not with the way my husband is. He just he just keeps buying more stuff. He and don't he don't just don't get it. <laughs> he don't I, get this hobby. Like no, it's not that. He this, just doesn't have no decor. I try to do something, and he's like, "Oh no, let's do this." Yeah, like my room, like 
at home. I'm talking about just the living room, period. The living room doesn't even have, like, it looks like, it, so, like, the TV stand and the TV looks like it could be in, like, a condo. But the rest of the house looks like it's just, uh... Yeah, that's why I don't play my piano anymore, because I can't, because Brock and Mariah are here. No, you can still do that. Don't don't let that stop you. I know. Okay, I and now we're on the last one, Yay. so that people can say, oh, God, we... You guys it's like can, 25 minutes. We don't, you guys don't oh. have to watch it. You guys oh. can fast forward. But anyways. Mm, this will be fun. Yeah, they'll probably say, wow, that's the longest they've ever talked, huh? Okay, oh. 10. Favorite holiday, Halloween. Oh. Well, I mean. C Christmas I is. Christmas is. Like, it's hard for me. I used to love year's. Christmas. A lot of the years, because my mom's job, it's not, Christmas isn't something I look forward to anymore. Um, I still do look forward to it, it's just, years are, di different years are harder for me. Because uh, of my anxiety, it's not, like, day, like, Christmas is, like, time to spend with my mom. But when her job takes her away, it's kind of, Christmas isn't really important at times but it still is so but i would say halloween because you get to dress up and not be yourself you get to be someone different every year yeah i just oh, i we've always been the type of family that we like to pull pranks the, on each other yes we're pranks so that's why i love so halloween. if any of my friends are watching this just so you know this is my family we prank people and each other we'll prank people we know and but, each other. Like, it's like something like we have all the time. She tries to scare me when she comes out of the dining room with the lights off. And she scares me every time. But the only reason why I've gotten to where I don't like Christmas that well is because since I've been with, since I married my, hus my husband, because he's my second husband, is because Christmas is his favorite. family celebrate Christmas differently. Yeah. When I was with the way I was brought up, it was about being with family. Not and it stuck. Let me yeah. finish. It was about being with family, and and you know we used to like make gifts and do some um, things. It was it was about being together and it's having a dinner and and stuff like that with his family. It was like they might get together, they might have a dinner, but then it was like, oh, here. Have you know they give you money, yeah, and, and I just it was just such a turn off, and it just with my family every Christmas, me and mom we sit under our heated blanket and open our presents, and then we have hot chocolate and we read books and watch movies and play with our gifts and stuff. And this year is gonna be a lot different, but I know like I'm gonna try to do what I normally do, but it's not gonna be easy. That's an understatement. It'll be alright. I love ya. Yeah, me too. But yeah, we should probably let them go. <laughs> because I'm passing gas. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we actually used to have a video that I was really goofy. It's kind of cringy now. So. Oh, sacred motion. I appreciate this one. You passing <laughs> gas. Fart. <laughs> And I'd play my flute <laughs> that had a flashlight on one end. <well, y'all have a good evening. Bye, Bye everybody.